Here at Wright Honda in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we're gonna check out the Ridgeline. Right here behind us, we have the Black Edition and an HBD package, and this is Joe Tenalia. Hey. Let's do this. First thing we wanna do is do a quick walk around of this thing, kind of point out some of the features, maybe some things that are different that you might find on some of the other packages, like the Sport, and RTL, and the RTLE. Like what makes the Black Edition special? Anything on the outside of this thing, Joe? First thing you're gonna notice is all the black trim. You're gonna have Black Edition badging. You're gonna have all the black lines filled out. You'd normally be chrome on your Sports or your RTLs. Um, and then we're gonna have black wheels come standard. They're going to be 18s with uh, Firestone Destination altering tires. And then you're going to see they have standard, you're going to see a dual exhaust. The thing is, if you're not used to these little Hondas, I don't, I don't want to say little because that sounds bad, but this thing comes equipped to tow. This has a 5,000 pound towing capacity, which I believe is more than some of the more popular competition. But a uh, hundred and something pounds more than 100 pounds more than the Tacoma. Also has sensors, parking sensors. To make sure you don't back up into the wrong things. You don't want to back into the right, you just don't want to back into anything. Let's take a look at this, this, this bed situation here. So you got a traditional bed, you got your backup camera right here as well. So you got a traditional tailgate. But this thing has more to it, right? And then we can also open her up to the side, the party mode. Now this is pretty cool. A lot of trucks are doing this now. Some of them have stuff here. What do we have in here? Like a cooler or something? So we got a cooler, a little storage compartment. It's got drains in there. Perfect for tailgate parties and whatnot. You got your spare tucked up in there as well. Another, this, um, yeah. Yeah, this thing locks too, which is probably standard. I wouldn't know, I don't have a truck. The reason I don't have a truck is- Storage. Well, storage and everybody wants to borrow your truck, which yeah. is why I don't have a truck. Get stuck helping everybody move. But you can put your valuables in here and lock it. Yep. All right, more room, like you said. You don't have to worry about the fenders like you do in a lot of other pickup trucks. So you have, what is this side storage? You got your little hidden compartment here with power outlet, auxiliary power. Nice. And it does come equipped or if you have it run in say on auxiliary, maybe you're charging your phone or whatnot, it will kill the battery before, before it starts to dies. Turn. Okay, so that's it'll, good. It'll, it'll good. But I want to go to the beach. I want to party. I want to have a good time. Does this thing offer anything that might be beneficial for me bringing my old stereo jam box? Oh yeah. We got We're still using jam box. So built between the bed liners, somewhere in here, there's a music, there's speakers. There's speakers. Let me hear it. All right. I'm all about that mumble rap. All the speakers you're gonna find are gonna be built into the panels of the bed liner. Okay. And they are gonna be water resistant. Okay. So they will last up with the elements and they'll, they'll serve you well. So if it's a flood zone, you could potentially be floating down and still jamming out oh, until yeah. you get rescued go bumping all day. Another thing that might be completely foreign to a lot of people is the layout here of getting into gear. You have your drive, your neutral, you have your park and reverse, you have to pull this down. It's kind of a cool feature. It's not quite as annoying as you may think it would be and you get used to it really quickly. So one of the cool things about this thing is if somebody were to get close to you and you're in drive or you're in reverse, if you're just chilling and you're not paying attention, it's gonna send warning, warning object approaching. This poor guy walking in front of me is about to get ran over. He's gonna get ran over again. And it's the same thing if it's in front or in the rear, which is a really good safety feature. One of the things this thing also has, it allows you to cycle through the driving modes. I know a lot of vehicles do it, but it's always better to have it right in front of you on the display. 
So I notice it has intelligent traction management. Now, does, if it's on normal, does it automatically, do you know if it automatically picks up what's going on around you? No, it's intelligent. So it, depending on where your traction is most or where it needs to dispense it by the computer, when you have the different modes, it'll help with the stance and the way it, it's gonna send the torque to the tires or the rims. So um, yeah, it, it's, it makes it so it adapts. Say you're taking a turn, it'll focus on you know wheels that need more or less torque and it'll adjust it with the computer accordingly. The wheels that slip to the wheels that grip. Exactly. You know, I'm really digging the paddle shifters on this thing. It makes me forget that I'm in this. Like, what do you call this? Is this technically, is it a crossover pickup truck? Is that even a thing? I would call it, I don't know. Because it's capable, 5,000 towing capacity. Yeah. I would call it a mid-sized truck. Kind of in comparison to, say, a Tacoma or like a Frontier. But it definitely is capable for its size. Yeah, it is. And it's it's it comes crew cabbed out like that's the only option so you have the crew yeah. cab you have the storage in the back you have the party mode essentially i don't know if that's really what it's called but <laughs> i call it party mode when you can pull up and you can just blare the music without having your windows like you can have your windows roll down like your key fob in your pocket plenty of power and the steering it's it's so we're still in, well we're not we're no longer in sport mode we're just in normal mode i guess but it doesn't feel like because a lot of trucks can beat you up and a lot of people like that yeah i have a car that like, the nsx already beats me up so i want to get in something that still feels sporty i think this is a good compromise it's highly it's quality and this black edition would set you back how much it's going to be about forty-two thousand starting black edition starting at forty-two thousand. if you want the hbd you were saying you were telling me earlier in the showroom that you can actually that's just a package you can get mm -hmm. you can get the sport and some of the other packages and then throw the hbd on top yeah so you could throw it on any trim level you'd like um they have other stuff like the adventure package a little more comprehensive it's got a couple different features in addition to the hpd like black rims stuff like that uh, roof racks crossbars running boards they went kind of all out with all the accessory options you can do with these right now i believe they even make a, uh, a tent that props up in the bed so just a lot of cool stuff they want to make it worth it and of course as always this thing comes with carplay it's got wireless charging it does not have wireless carplay but that's okay you don't need it you're gonna have wireless is gonna be on the rtl in the black edition good to know do you want it the tle or the black edition and that's where you need your wireless charging yeah i like to tell people that the rtle is basically the everything the ease the everything everything package so you're gonna have the leather and all that good stuff uh, power seats and that's gonna trick all those cool features trickle into the black edition and it just adds more styling features like the red trims and all that cool stuff yeah i love this interior it's incredibly comfortable and it's got the perforated seats like you were saying baseball stitching like this steering wheel is really really nice and what's going on with the rear the uh, rear window there so yeah you're gonna have a sliding back window as well which is pretty cool that's going to be on your rtles and your black editions so i'm used to having to reach back and unlatch it mm -hmm. and dislocate your shoulder just to move the window yeah and we don't have to do that anymore no more dislocations we're going to save you on your surgery bills so right now we're in sport mode right mm -hmm. we're in sport mode and i can tell as soon as i get on the gas just driving like a normal person kind of gives you a little something I don't know, does sport mode do anything with the steering or is it just kind of readjust the, the tune on the... It, it's gonna just be your first three gears. It's gonna make it so that it's a little more touchy on your RPMs. The first three. So this thing, 3.5 liter, 24 valve. Got the IV Tech V6 engine with direct injection, 280 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. 
Tour, it seems to be better torque, not bad. Intelligent traction management. The perfect vehicle for someone who wants to drive a car, but say they own a truck. If you're worried about safety, it's got the forward collision warning system, lane departure warning system, road departure mitigation system, and advanced compatibility engineering body structure. Comfortable seating for five or four fully grown people. It's got an armrest in the back seat. Armrest in the back seat. All right, so this thing was really cool. I think I would, I would absolutely take one of these. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave them below. Subscribe to the channel and check me out on the Hard Parking Podcast. And if you're in Scottsdale, Arizona, make sure you go to Wright Honda and pick up your next vehicle.